76% of the food produced in Europe benefits from pollination by honeybees and wild bees. Wild bees, of which there are some 600 species in Switzerland, contribute roughly as much to crop pollination as honeybees. Moreover, as pollinators of wild plants, they are essential for the maintenance of functioning ecosystems. For us to effectively protect and promote bees and their crucial pollination services, it's important to understand what stress factors they're exposed to, such as food stress, plant protection products and introduced diseases. But we still know very little about how these factors interact, how they might affect the bees, and whether certain factors could potentially become exacerbated. And it is precisely this topic which Matthias Albrecht and his team at Agroscope research. Their research forms part of a European project entitled Posh B. 42 partner organizations from all over Europe are involved. In this Posh B project experiment, we hope to find out whether wild bees that are well nourished on a balanced diet are also better equipped to handle stresses such as plant protection products. In this experiment at Agroscope, mason bees are released into 42 large flight cages. In other words, in this experiment, the wild bees nesting here find entirely different plant species that differ in terms of their nutrient content and pollen composition, for example. And we also have mixtures of different plant species, or as here, individual plant species in monocultures. Anina Knauer, one of the researchers involved in the project, observes how many flowers the bees visit per minute. This survey helps to assess the pollination performance and efficiency of the bees when gathering pollen and nectar. In this way, we can then find out whether bees that are able to use diverse floral food resources have a more balanced diet and might actually be more resistant to plant protection products, partly because they can detoxify them more quickly and release them from their systems. The researcher installs a video camera that films the nests. The images are then analyzed by a software program developed for the project, which identifies each individual bee by means of a colored number plate stuck onto it. Oh look, just now it is showing what nest the bee is going into. B8 into nest D7, correct. And whenever the bee goes in, it's outlined in red. And when it flies out, it's outlined in blue. That's super. We could also use that in the analysis. These images are meant to show whether the bees have trouble finding their own nest when under stress and how long they need for a foraging trip. This research is relevant because plant protection products can impair the bee's orientation system and memory. We measure many variables here in order to study this. For example, how long the bees survive in their cages, how many offspring they produce, and how efficiently they supply these offspring with pollen and nectar, which is heavily dependent on their orientation skills. The researchers photograph the bees' nests at dusk, when the bees are no longer active. The photos are used to count how many new brood cells a bee has built over the course of a day. This information is important for assessing population trends, since plant protection products and or nutritional stress could adversely affect the bees' long-term survival. This in turn also affects how well the bees pollinate these very plants, for example, agricultural crops. This is also an aspect that we investigate in this experiment. Anina Kanawa removes the anthers from the flowers in order to prevent self-pollination. The researchers assess pollination performance by measuring the deposition of pollen on the pistils of 15 flowers in each flight cage. Fruit and seed set are also assessed. Initial results from the Posh Bee project indicate, for example, that certain individual plant protection products may be mutually reinforcing in their negative effects on wild bees. And this is important knowledge. It can help to further develop risk assessment for bees and avoid the use of such especially risky combinations of individual plant protection products in order to protect the bees.